Oh, 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 Sylvain, she is so beautiful. Hey, Judge, and welcome to Dwellers to another Mad Bag Gamer commentary. I am on my Witch Doctor. He is roughly the equivalent level of my Barbarian. He's actually a little lower level. Um, I'm level 9 and I'm in the same place, so that tells you how much I repeated a little bit of content with my Barbarian. I've just found the first sword piece. Magda's words betrayed her. The next piece I'm of about the to look for the next one. Where only ancients may trade. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, the ancients. Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were Looks ancient like we're cultivating a new powers. young Decker Cain and Leia. Reached a terrible battle near the temple. And that their ghosts still war with one another. At the end of the fields of misery? Please help. They're going to kill my friend. I find the old mill. Kill my friend. If we don't do something, help me break these bonds and see for yourself. Okay, okay. With your friend. She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. I got a bad feeling about Sasha's fate. My patience, wench. My sweet love will save me. <laughs> Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. Well, you're obviously not the most kind guys in the world if you're gonna just kill us for a misunderstanding. So you've already got to see a little bit of a, uh, crazy spell that I'm using right now. That would be the, uh, what are they called? Corpse spiders. You won't get away from and they swarm choice. quite well. In fact, to the point where I'm barely even using my other spells. And look at them. You get some jars out and you got some spiders all over. So after this fight, we're going to take a look at uh, my abilities. Oh, note, this guy was a uh, purple named... Um, <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves Guild will find you. Purple means that it's set. That means that that, that uh, hero or that mini boss always exists. Yellow means that it's randomly generated. I hit it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? <laughs> of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of hmm. tilling the fields and raising brats, uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You wish to come with me? <laughs> yes, yes. You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way. I look like I know a lot about markets. It looks like I could switch out my follower. Uh, maybe not yet. Gods, I should have known. The relics are fake. like you could use a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal proposal. <laughs> ah, there you are. And you're betrothed. Betrothed. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. So if I wanted to, I could replace my Templar. You know what? Let's do it. I've actually had my Templar die on me a couple times. Maybe this guy will stay out of danger. Poison Bolt's crippling shot. I don't know. 40% weapon damage and an additional 40% weapon damage is poison. So 80 total. I like uh, I like the utility an oh, awful lot. We're going to go with the snare. Oh, I do that extremely well. How rich. Ooh, wow. What is that? Alaric. Um, okay, so is she gonna straight go run down there and talk? Okay, no. I've got a minute. So I'm using corpse spiders right now instead of poison darts. Um, I like poison dart quite a bit, but it can be a pain in the butt for quick moving enemies. And corpse spiders, once you get this rune, leaping spiders, is great for it. So uh, the way this spell works is you toss out a jar and spiders pop out of it. Now, with this rune, they have an ability to leap to a target. They'll leap, uh, I don't know, about 8 yards or so, 8, 10 yards. And, uh... They do, uh, let's see, what kind of percentage of weapon damage? 16% of weapon damage. It doesn't seem like much, but there's four of them, and they attack two to three times, so it can very quickly add up to some uh, decent damage. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. Ha. Can't get a zoom in right. 
Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Alaric, a guardian. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. My dogs are a bit low, so I'm gonna pop some more zombie dogs up. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. I also am um, using the a rest spell called Soul Harvest. Within them reside the keys. Keys to, to the sacred, sacred temple. temple. Okay, uh, Soul Harvest I'll gives me intelligence and life from enemies around me, up to five enemies. The more enemies I hit with it, the more intelligence and life I get. So, I'm having quite a bit of fun with the Witch Doctor right at the moment. I think I'm probably going to return to my Barbarian for the next piece after this episode. And then I think this weekend I'm going to try to level either a Monk or a Wizard. I'm kind of leaning towards a Monk to uh, do a couple pieces of walkthrough with him. And then I'm really going to focus. It's going to be probably my Demon Hunter and I want to say the Barbarian. You probably won't see very much of any of the other classes at, at that point on. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead, but they gain their fortitude through horrific means, feasting upon human corpses. These creatures are least dangerous while eating, but do not disturb them, or it shall be your limbs between their... I wonder who killed these huh. soldiers. There's a I lot of dead bodies here. Soon know the answer. Toss my snare out there. Let's give them some spiders. Uh-oh. That aura means that there is likely a boss of some sort involved here. Oh, and there are a lot of enemies. I'm just going to keep the jars of spiders flowing. We're going to see how ridiculous many spiders we can get up here. And all of my enemies are going to crumble. That was actually... Look at that thing over there. Very oh 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 there he is. This is the this is the hero. And of course I just now dethroned myself. Whoa, he's got some kind of knockback and he has a snare. Let's keep the spiders going. To keep the uh, pack of spiders alive, to keep momentum going with it, you kinda have to continuously attack. I'm gonna steal some life here, as well as some intelligence, get my snare back out. Wow, 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 this boss is actually living forever. I about got him, though. There he goes. Last stand of the ancients. I just got an achievement in the middle of all that. take us without a fight. We must hold them here while the keys to the holy temple are hidden away from their leader, the fiend Nereza. Resolve must not falter, and we will surely die to the last man. Not going to fully explore this zone, uh, but we are going to go a little deeper. Let's see, I'm trying to retrieve the Beacon of Honor so that I can open this door. I actually think I need two different beacons. And I think they're both going to be in this general area. And a matter of fact, I have an objective for this little cave. So what do we have here? More enemies, one freaking out in the back over there. Not sure exactly how to pursue his aggression towards me. Level 10. Oh yeah. What do we have here? Okay, it's saying new. I think that's just horrify still. What did I... I unlocked a passive. What do we have? We have circle of life. Whenever an enemy I dies within 12 beef. yards, Give there's a 5% chance that a zombie dog will what automatically emerge. The range of this effect is increased by items that increase your gold pickup radius. Interesting. So I'll automatically get zombie dogs back. I wonder if I can get more than three using that. Jungle Fortitude reduces all damage taken by you and your pets by 20%. Ah, that's kind of cool too. Um, I think this will be the neater looking effect at least because I'm going to have zombie dogs just spawning out of corpses. So uh, let's stick with that for right now, and I think everything else can stay the same. Um, I like Grasp of the Dead a whole lot just because of its utility, the, the snare. But I'm going to switch to Fire Bats just to, uh, just to have some variety, show you what's up. Show you uh, a different spell, and it does more damage anyway. Um, it doesn't about the same size AOE. It's shaped a little Eric different. Says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest. And there are the fire bats. Oh yeah. Oh, that did not. That did not quite do what I wanted it to. And let's get the spiders rolling. 
Oh yeah, I got a horde of spiders there now. And fire bats for everyone. Fire bats for everyone. Sorrow tooth grind is finally gone. Holy crap. Adventuring two-handed sword of winter. Not quite. So uh, I'm down one zombie dog. Maybe I should get close to make sure this effect triggers. I want to see my zombie dogs replenish. I've got two. Can I get a third? Can I get a third? You remove that artifact, then hand it to me for safekeeping. Beacon of honor. Okay. Well, this was short. That's cool. That means, uh, or that likely means, that I'm going to find another fairly short cave that will lead to the next beacon. That's good. That's good. I'm looking for the sword pieces. I'm not trying to waste time out in the festering woods looking for artifacts. Line something up that I don't even know anything about. Some temple. Temple of the Nephilim. And can we get some fire bat usage? It's cool how the bats come in from behind me and then turn into fire as they cross over. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I just like channel them. It's like I pet them as I go as they go by. <laughs> that's a pretty cool effect. Unfortunately, I don't like the spell a whole lot. <laughs> The snare of that uh, grasp, that circular AoE, it's just too easy to abuse, it's too easy to place perfectly and use to just ice enemies. But I guess I could do some of this and probably have a quicker kill on enemies so long as I can get them to line up well. Aha! Our second cave. Let's go right in. Crypt of the Ancients, and I'm getting more achievements. Let's wipe out all of our skeletons here. Oh. See if I can get zo zombie dogs back up with a little bit of a base of spiders. Hopefully those will get him. Yes, they do. Sweet. And the boss goes down. Talk about skeleton bosses. The last two skeleton bosses have been yellow names, so they're just randomly popping up. I'm sure you'll probably get a comparable amount of bosses yourself going through this, but it's kind of crazy that I've been getting only skeleton bosses. Oh, behind us too, huh? Well, I want to use some fire bats. Oh, yeah, that's what fire bats is made for. That situation right there is what the spell fire bats works perfect on. Of course, grasp would have worked pretty well there too. Grasp does some damage, just not as much as fire bats. The only thing I don't like about spiders is that I can't really focus them. They kind of hit whatever they want to hit. I can't, like with the dart, I can aim it at a specific enemy and be sure that that enemy is going to get hit with, you know, X amount of I'm damage. I'm so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall. I am not seeing this passive trigger, like, pretty much at all for zombie dogs. I wonder if it only works on, like, living corpses. I wonder if it doesn't work on skeletons. That would be pretty bogus for uh, this point in time in the game. I think I am going to switch that because some survivability would be pretty great. More spiders! All right, let's see this. I can have that when you're done with it, right? Shut up! You know what you're talking about, dude. Beacon of light. All right, second beacon acquired. Let's head back. I'll show you. Just put my hand on your. Stay back. <laughs> good at flirting, are you? He's trying to flirt with Leah. That's funny. That's cool that she's defensive against it too. Little scoundrel, you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a little run right back up to that. So it's gonna be a little ways away. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it till I get over there. All right. I have returned with both orbs. Let us put them in their place. Quest complete. 
More experience, more gold. The temple is open. Enter and defeat the guardians within. Guardians within. They will see your death when you enter. My death, not my death. The drowned temple. And further search of the blades. Let's get some spiders going here. I did go ahead and switch back over to the grasp. The grasp is just so sick with the spiders. Just get everything in one huge pack and get the spiders all over everything. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I almost want to uh, take off this intelligence thing and load fire bats. As a matter of fact, I think that would be a sick, sick combination. Yeah. Ezek the Prophet. Purple name means he is always here. Oh yeah, I like those uh, I like those bats in combination with uh, the slow, the snare, that makes a really good combo. And let's keep those spiders flowing. And holy crap, that uses my man up. And it hurts. And I'm going to keep adding other things to this sentence, because I'm horrible at comma splicing. Boom! Life force extinguished. Huh, <laughs> I'm only level 10. Think you are. Had to check. <laughs> you enter our most sacred place. Your most sacred place? Well, whatever might that be? The noble hero fought his way here just to die. I got a feeling I'm going to be using these spiders real soon. So let's start getting them out. Atria's daughter. Power? Your mother will soon share your fate, little one. The shard is mine. Yeah, cultists again, are you kidding? Don't you remember how this went last time? I got fire bats now, too. You got no hope. Could my mother be alive after all these years? Uh, Where's the sword piece? Do not listen. Wow, that this head. fight was too easy. She's toying with us. We must get the world stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. Huh. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but the instead turned them changed. into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. Huh. Apparently that was, uh, Alaric. I think that was his name. The Guardian out here in the front. Alright, what do we have? We're returning to, uh, New Tristram. I guess I could have teleported. Could have town portaled, I mean. Um, I'm pretty close to the waypoint at this point, though. So, let us go back to town. I see what Kane has to say about all this. The last of the Haradrim. Oh, the stranger. Magda found us in the drowned temple. Even now, she seeks the third piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. A fishing village. That must be worth them. Oh, brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Huh. Okay. So the ferryman will take us to worth them. I'm going to do a little bit of breaking down, a little bit of salvaging. See you at the ferryman. Let's see what the ferryman has to offer in way of transportation. Probably a boat, I need eh? To go across the water. Were I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. What an ill omen. Checkpoint reached. They're destroying the town. Get out while you can. Oh, I intend to go in. I'm going in. To those who defy. Oh yeah, once you get a base of spiders going, it's just it just don't stop. Another level up? What did I get this time? Ooh! Plague of Toads. I used Plague of Toads in the beta. <clears throat> Need more Honestly, uh, it's real unreliable, but I'm gonna use it a little bit here just because it does do really good damage when it hits. All my zombie dogs are gone. Let's bring them back, please. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back off to the spiders pretty quick here. You can kind of get the uh, frogs to swarm the way you can the spiders, but the spiders are just so nice because they seek targets. Uh, what else did I get? Ooh, I got a fire bats rune. What did I get for fire bats? Summon fewer but larger bats that travel up to 40 yards 
and hit for 220% weapon damage as fire. Interesting. So there will be less hits, but stronger hits. And I have longer range. I think I'll take that trade, at least uh, to check it out. Looks like this area isn't real big either, so I'll probably just plow on through. Refrain from chopping this all up. Please, my family's hiding in the chapel with the rest we'll of the We'll use toads for one we more fight. To Actually, if this is going to be You'll this to chapel, I'm going to go right back to corpse spiders right now. Uh, not to spoil what's coming up, but I'm not going to want to use the toads. I'm going to want to use a skill that works. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Gigantic bats messing y'all up. Fools, you cannot keep the sword from me. This is bad. My servants will burn this Oh boy, here we go. Ashes. So, let's get the spiders flowing. Ah, there's her champion. I'm gonna send him some bats. Holy crap, those are huge bats. Oh my god, those are enormous bats. Let's get some spiders back out to just handle the general trash in here. Send some more enormous bats on over to Urzu. That takes my mana really coming. fast. Whoa! Those guys are big. And they teleport. That's cool. Big bats, big bats. Oh, yeah. And my Templar leveled up. Oh, I mean, my Scoundrel. Vanish or dirty fighting blinds enemies or he goes invisible and heals himself. I think I'd rather him blind enemies because him going invisible doesn't help me any. I seek a sword hilt fallen from the sky. It glows with powerful magic. We found it days yes, ago. Yes, Scuddy Bud, you can go outside. We'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. Good. I'll be glad to take it off your hands. Check on Uncle Deckard. What? You're leaving me? Okay, well, let me get my dogs back then. The Wertham Cellar. Right the Chapel Cellar. Does this say Virgil? It is not him. Whoa, what? While you were on your hero's errand here, I captured all three sword pieces and your friend. Baloney! I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house. Yeah, well, good thing the church basement comes with a waypoint. Kane's house, huh? Oh, uh, it's going down. The dogs are out. Oh man. Holy crap. It's your choice, Kane. We got Either one cultist locking down the stranger. The sword, one on Kane. Three on Leah. Death. <laughs> oh, this pain. This destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. everything. Oh man. She's going Super Saiyan! Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You There's the sword, time. all three pieces. But if the sword cannot be mine. I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Okay, so the angel gets snatched. Oh. You can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. You can do that? Deckard Cain, the last Haradrim. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Guess I kind of spoiled that one. <laughs> I only spoiled it a second or two. Too early. Uncle Deckard. The journal. Well, well, it's a big show. Oh, I no. Could control this power. I could have saved him. Power. Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda. 
and her master Belial. <laughs> that mask. <laughs> Juno speaks of an angel falling from the heavens Looks as like the troll. shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. It does not matter at this moment who he truly is. I will find him and bring him his sword. So I've got the sword? Erupted. I saw into Magda's use it? for an instant. She's fled to the highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know. She'll be waiting for you. I the caves above Wortham. The spirits tell me so. Okay, sure. Listen to the spirits. It's good to listen to the spirits. They do you straight, at least with the, uh, you know, the corpse spiders and all that. Um, let's see, I want to check some crafting, because I know there's some boots I can make for myself. So let me see, I've got the money to spend. Let me, uh, let me get a couple things done real quick. I might, I might just leave the camera on, a matter of fact. And, uh, I might check how long I've been recording here in a second. Just to see if i got time for, uh, a whole lot else. Level 17, can't use that yet. 36, that might be better than the mask I'm wearing. However, that's the only yellow I have, so let's refrain just because I want to keep my yellow. Yeah, that's sacrilegious in the fight for gear. Less armor, but two random magic properties. Let's check it out at least. A belt. Yeah, let's do the belt. Three magic properties. Let's see the boots I got. Dexterity and a better chance of finding magical items. I like the magic find. That's actually awesome. But... I don't like the dexterity, so let me try this one more time. Eating up gold, eating up mats, dexterity and movement speed. I actually like the magic find better than the movement speed. Alright, I'm gonna stop trying. I don't have any rings yet, do I? I don't think I do. And weapons. Do I have a weapon that would go for level 17? No, that's way too high. Um, I guess I can use about anything, and it really only matters as far as my weapon damage goes into my spells because I won't actually be using the weapon so it doesn't matter if I have a melee weapon or not let's see here I'm not sure there are any that uh, quivers definitely not any quivers I'm not sure there are any that are going to equate out to be better than what I've got those are all for wizards alright well um magic find strength and dexterity ah you know what, that has the potential to be really good, so let me try the belt one more time as well. I've still got quite a bit of money. Dexterity and magic find? Crap, they are, they're just throwing dexterity at me. Scoundrel, go away for a second. You're changing my luck. Intelligence, there we go. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Alright, and we're going to salvage everything else that we've got left. Alright. And we have to trail the coven next. Into the caverns of Arane. You guys might be somewhat familiar with that already. So to the caverns of Arane we go. It said it was north of Warham. So I'm guessing that I'll be able to walk back out of the chapel and up the top. Let's go ahead and ship. Right back up to the outside. And sure enough, it looks like my objective's over here. Wonder how much wilderness we have between here and the uh, the, caves must be up here the caves. I don't necessarily want to record a bunch of pretty scenery, even though it is exactly that. Very, very pretty scenery. Looks like I've got some kind of waterfall over here to my right. That's pretty sweet. God, just the design. I think just about every bridge I've seen in this game has been a unique model, unique design, which is that's just awesome. That is some attention to detail, and that is some dedication to detail. Ah, uh, and the spider webs begin. Yeah, I think uh, you guys did see this as I ran down in here with my demon hunter. Okay, so... I am... Music echoes from beyond. You guys have seen the beginning of this, so I'm basically going to cut this out until I get to the end, which I didn't show you before, so I will see you when we get there. Oh, that is creepy. Oh, we have a yellow, and he is going to be doing some damage to me. Oh, I'm so glad that wall went down, and I'm so glad that he had a health shrine near him, because this is a toughie. I've got to say though, these uh, these corpse spiders really do an amazing job in here. All the little spiders, no problem. These guys wipe them right out. I don't even have to pay attention to them. Just
just toss a couple of these out as I run. And they take care of all the little spider threats that come. Let me see if I can find a pack of the wee little guys. Oh, here's a pack of their, uh, their big brothers. The fully grown spiders. My little corpse spiders do equally well against them. Their snare is fairly annoying. Especially as immobile as the witch doctor is at this point in time. I think I get a little bit of mobility later in an ability. Some kind of a spirit walk thing if I've uh, seen some streams correctly. Where uh, you move a little bit faster, you can't be hit for a short period of time. I don't think I get that until much later though. So for right now I'm just going to have to be, ah uh, here we go, I'm just going to have to be a slow guy. Tossed out a couple jars, I've actually taken quite a few hits. There is a lot here for my uh, corpse spiders to be focusing on though. And I think I'm slowly getting the upper hand, yep sure enough. All that remains are my spiders. I really could be spamming more magicka out on these big memajamas. Maybe I'll just spam more spiders out. It is a spider pit after all. Okay, let's resume the search for the queen off camera. Oh, some champion buggers. I am definitely going to toss some bats their way. Oh yeah, I think that helped quite a bit. Man, those bats. I actually really like the big bats. I didn't really like fire bats much to begin with, but having it be a, a slower, more powerful iteration, I think that improves it quite a bit. Just the distance that I can get out of it. Don't tell him that I told you. <laughs> You're trying to just give me more and more reason not to have him by my side and to opt for the scoundrel? I think he is. Accept it, me. Come close and feel her loving embrace. Uh, I don't like the sounds of that. This land is not kind to madmen. And it is not kind to witch doctors. Just trying to get a thing done with some spiders of his own. Ah, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it likes me. Maybe it likes me quite a bit. Oh, I especially like spiders against these, uh, these little Santa Claus goblins. They just keep them locked down because he's taken so many different hits so often. He's always just getting the stun the second he comes out of one stun. And that got me a good bit. What kind of weapons does he take? Crossbows and he's got one? He can't use anything non-ranged, I would assume. Ooh, a checkpoint. What does that mean? The chamber of the queen. Oh, man. Oh, no. Look at these holes. Those are gigantic holes. Yeah, it appears we're not alone in here. Yeah, no joke, huh? Oh, boy. I don't like the looks of this. Let's keep a count of spiders up. Oh, there she is. Look at all my spiders jumping in on her. And fire bats. Oh, yeah, those things are doing great damage. Don't charge me, queen. I see you thinking about it. I don't want none of that. No, get away from me. Get away from me. I think she's running. Sure enough, and she's sending her pets out. Well, I guess they're her, uh, her children, not necessarily her pets. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Ah! Creepy! And I'm gonna go ahead and use a health potion because I don't even really want to risk the death. And yes, we're just gonna stack those jars on her. And let's get the jars stacking up for the enemies that come running. Put my zombie dogs back out. Maybe use a couple fire bats. Being a fan of uh, StarCraft Brood War sounds weird every time I say that. Fire bats? That can't possibly mean anything in this. I'm a witch doctor. What are fire bats doing on my side? I guess the uh, witch doctor is still a human, so if it came down to Terran Protoss or Zerg, it would definitely be the Terran he'd side with. Whoa. 
please. Dual yellows. I can't hang here like this a moment longer. I'll go mad. Oh, what is going? A pool of venom? What is this? Do I have to use the venom? I have to use the venom to get rid of the web. Thank oh, that's crazy. You. Thank you. Can we please leave this horrible place? Yeah, yeah, we can leave it in just a second. Let's check out these items. A silent terror in the caves near oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You labored for weeks over a group of unusually large spiders. Each hit adds one life. I think I'm gonna take over the strength ring. The large Three strength. We'll get rid of that. Into the caves. None who have ventured there have returned. It was terrible being stuck in there like that. Thank the gods you came Karanya. Home. What are you doing out here? I seek a man taken by the coven. The coven? I saw them dragging someone into Leoric's manor house. Perhaps it was the man you seek. Uh, you might have a small bit of trouble reaching there, though. Why? I'm not proud of this, but I stole the stuff of a powerful Khazra shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. <laughs> you can find the stuff in my cart in the highlands. If you take it to the Khazra barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. Huh. A thief of a mage woman, I guess. I don't know. Why do I, I guess it was her fate to get caught by the spiders. Here. Let's go with the uh, zombie dogs out again. Because I only had two of them. For all the dead bodies, this looks like quite the quiet little field. Brand new waypoint. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good stopping point for this episode. So I'm going to return to town. Um, you guys don't need to see that because I'm going to go right on to the staff. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Witch Doctor. I will probably be returning with my Barbarian in the next episode. And then hopefully I can get you one more class before I really start focusing down and try to just hammer out some higher level stuff. Alright, see you in the next episode.